Marriage is the uniting of a man and a woman in the building of a home. It's the commitment of an unending and unconditional love. It's the beginning of a life joined together by God. And so today, two individual people prepared by God for one another become one. Brianna, I have prayed for this moment with you since the second we met, and I have prayed for you for what feels like a million lifetimes. You are the strongest human I could ever know, and yet you speak truth and grace better than anyone. You have a beautiful heart that burns for the Lord, and the grace and patience you have shown me since the second we met can truly only be from Him. You are also by far the funniest person I know, even funnier than Nate Bargatze. Most importantly, you are a God-fearing Proverbs 31 woman who shows me Jesus every day with your wisdom, kindness, and fierce pursuit of Him. You have made me a better man. As we become one union on this day, I will remember for the rest of mine, I vow as the spiritual leader of our house to keep the Lord as the most important part of my life and point everything we do in this covenant marriage back to Him. Today is the day, the day where we become one, the day that starts all our others, the day that begins our forever. It's crazy we're finally here, but in some ways it feels like we're blinked and now we're here. I recently looked back at our text from the very beginning where we would just send novels back and forth and it made me emotional because of all the memories that came flooding in, sitting on the couch, trying to think of my next woody response that somehow never matched yours. <laughs> I know I tell you all the time, but your mind is so beautiful. You've always been so intentional, asking so many questions to better understand me. And it's true, you understand me better than anyone. Since September 4th, 2022, exactly 629 days from the very first day we met, it's always been me and you. I knew as soon as we started goofing off and laughing, dancing at that coin concert, I knew as soon as we said goodbye that one day we would just have to say goodnight. As your husband, I promise to comfort and protect you from the storms of life. I vow to support you and encourage you spiritually, emotionally, and turn to you not only as my wife, but my best friend and my safest place. I promise to work hard to support and take care of our family. I can't wait to see what motherhood brings for you. And I vow to always love our family as Christ loved the church. I promise to support you and stand by you on the best days, the worst days, and the Tuesdays. You are my everything. And I'm so thankful to the Lord to love you endlessly until we are reunited with him in heaven. Yours forever and ever, amen. I'm so excited to just say goodnight. I'm so excited to go to all of these together, even though I'll always want to splurge at Trader Joe's. <laughs> I'm so excited for our mini Chick-fil-A date. I'm so excited for walks around our neighborhood and making our house a home. I'm so excited to continue pursuing Christ with you. I'm so excited to empower you each and every day. I'm so excited to raise babies with you. I'm so excited to love you more tomorrow than I did today. But today my heart is bursting with the love I have for you. I promise you are everything to me for my whole world. I vow to choose you today and every day after. I vow to continue becoming the wife you need. I vow to protect you. I vow to fight for our marriage. I vow to guard your heart. I vow to make our home a safe sanctuary for you. I vow to serve you. I vow to keep God first. And I vow to love you forever. Forever and ever, amen.
Dear friends, we are assembled here in the presence of God to unite Spencer and Brianna in marriage. And so as you stand before me today in these witnesses, you're pledging your care, support, and love for each other. You're declaring God's loving purpose in bringing you together for a lifetime. So much has gone into making you who you are today. Family, friends, good times, struggles, all used by God to prepare you for each other. This ring, I pledge my life and my love to you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. With this ring, I pledge my life and my love to you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. By the authority of God, I declare that Spencer and Brianna are husband and wife. Spencer, you may kiss your bride. So let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Mr. and Mrs. Spencer, back. Come and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. Oh, I look slow and high and I'm never I'm happy for you guys and I love you both. Spencer, thank you for everything. Brianna, thank you for being the best sister, best sibling I could ever ask for. And I'm so excited for you guys and your family. And I can't wait to be a part of it, be Uncle Austin. Won't you be mine? I, I know it's hard to find. You, you put your hand in mine. Slumber to the summer time. I'm always on your side. Ah, so let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come on and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. has come and gone in the blink of an eye, but now God has brought you a new friendship for you and Spencer to enjoy for the rest of your lives. Keep Christ first in your lives and also first in your marriage, and you will never fail. Darling, let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come on and strike up the choir. Throw you